Hello everyone and welcome back to the Nerd Cave. In this video today I'm going to share with you this project here which is a smart plug based on a Raspberry Pi Pico W that allows you to control all the outlets using your Wi-Fi. A big shout out to JLC PCB for sponsoring this video. A bit more on them later in this video. Here is a short demonstration of the smart multi plug. We connect it to the static IP of the Raspberry Pi Pico W that is hosting this web page as input, which has eight buttons here that we can control each outlet individually. The website is mobile responsive, so if you do decide to use your mobile to connect to the IP address, it is more convenient to control your plugs just using your mobile phone. Just a short disclaimer, this project does involve live AC, and you always have to be very careful when working with live electricity. So if you are not sure what you are doing, Please do not try this project at home and seek advice from a professional that can help you in case you wanted to build something like this. We will break this video down into three sections, starting with all the components and then we will look at the code and then also how you would assemble all of this. A more detailed write-up will be available on my website and on GitHub. And remember, if you always have questions, you can let me know down in the comment section below or you can join my Discord server. I got this 8 channel relay module board which you should be able to get from AliExpress or Amazon that will allow us to control each outlet individually. You do get smaller relay boards if you need less outlets. I have done a previous video on a single module and how to control it which you can find on my channel. One of the key components of this project is this module which will allow us to convert 220 volt AC to 5 volt DC that will be used to power the relay board and the Raspberry Pi Pico W. It can deliver up to 5 watt power and since it is so compact, we do not need to use this bulky AC to DC converter. I also got this 15 pin DB15 VGA adapter, which for now is not needed but will be used in a future project, which you will need to subscribe to the channel to see, but it will still be related to this project. The next component, which is the brain of our project, is the Raspberry Pi Pico W, which will host our website, which we can access through the network to control each outlet individually. We need a C14 power entry module to connect the 220 volt AC to our smart plug. But this type of connector will depend on your country standards. This one has a fuse built in for safety. For this project, I have included the option to add Bluetooth, but it's not shown in this video. If anyone is interested in using Bluetooth, just let me know in the comment section. I got these power sockets on Taobao, but again, you can choose ones according to your preference. For the wire, I went with this 22 AWG single core wire. I would suggest getting three different colors, black, red, and any other color you want. You will also need jumper wires and a wire stripper and the soldering machine to solder all the components to the PCB. Now, I have built everything on breadboard first, and then I went to EasyEDA to make the PCB. The PCB will make this project a lot easier to be used with the relay board. After double checking the PCB board, I placed the order through the number one PCB manufacturer in the world, and that is JLC PCB. Now I know I am sponsored by JLC PCB, but even before being sponsored by them, I always have been using their services. The PCBs they produce are excellent quality and cheap, so consider using JLC PCB for your next project. They usually have a lot of coupons and specials throughout the year, so check the description of the video for more information. Along with the PCB, you will need a few female header pins and connectors that we will solder to the board. After soldering the board and using the dimensions of the relay board and PCB, I designed a case to hold everything. And this is the first iteration of the case. And it is a bit bulky, but if you have any suggestions on how to improve it, let me know in the comment section. I then printed out the case and used 100% info to give it enough strength. I then connected the relay board and PCB and connected the cables according to this diagram. The next part was connecting all the outlets of the relay, which took the most time of this project. Now before we close this backplate, we first need to write a program for a Raspberry Pi Pico W. So just plug in a USB to the Pico W and then write the code and then you can connect the 220 volt AC here. This part imports the necessary modules. Pin from machine is used to control the GPIO pins on a Pico W. Network is used to connect to the internet. Time is used for delays and USocket is a module for socket programming 
which is a method of communication between two computers using a network protocol, typically TCP, IP. In this case, the Raspberry Pi is creating a socket server that listens for incoming connection from clients. Here we're setting up eight GPIO pins as output pins. These pins are connected to the relays that control the power to the device plugged into the smart plug. Here we're setting up the Wi-Fi connection. Just replace it with your Wi-Fi name and your Wi-Fi password. This part waits for the Wi-Fi connection to be established. It checks the status of the connection every second for 10 seconds. If the Wi-Fi connection is not established after 10 seconds, it will raise an error. If the connection is successful, it prints out the IP address of the Raspberry Pi Pico. This function generates the HTML code for the web server. It checks the state of each relay and sets the corresponding checkbox to checked if the relay is off. Here we're setting up the socket server on port 80 which is the standard HTTP port. In this infinite loop, the server waits for a client to connect. When a client connects, it receives the client's HTTP request. This part checks the HTTP request for commands to turn each relay on or off. If it finds a command, it changes the state of the corresponding relay. Finally, the server sends the HTML code generated to the web server function back to the client. Then it closes the connection. I hope you found this project useful. And I think I will make a more safer version of this, like a tutorial, to show you exactly how the relay module works and how we control it over Wi-Fi. And I can show you how to make all the necessary connections in a bit more detail. But for now, just remember you can go check my website. I will try to update all of this as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.